Hey, if you could just stand over there for me. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, and if you could just tell me your name. Wait, why is there so much oil in here? Wait a minute. You don't know why you're here? I've never seen this much oil to do a YouTube video. Oh, we're um, doing a wait, different type of... Wait, why is there, like, a lot of, like, condoms and lube around here? What? Because we're, like we're doing a different oh. type of video. What's your name? Um, well, <laughs> my name is Cortez Bridges, um, a.k.a. QTZ, and um, I'm here to tell a story about, um, well, here to give a life update about me moving to Atlanta. Wait, what is this? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. What? Porn? No, bro, what? No. Somebody give me the... I'm in the wrong fucking studio. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't see y'all there. What's popping? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Cortez, aka QTZ, one of the littest YouTubers there is out there. Y'all already know what the freak. What the freak? Am I capping about that or not? No, I'm not. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so you can be notified for whenever your boy posts another lit video. We're about to go up all 2021. Just because stuff happened, that don't mean I gotta stop. Y'all already know. <laughs> My story is not done being written. I'm uh really um just getting started, if you ask me. Period. <sighs> All right, y'all. What's up, YouTube? So let's get into this this life update. So I decided to move to Atlanta around June 28th or so, like that. Um, what inspired me to move to Atlanta was Pretty V and B. Simone and just all these other influencers, but mainly them two because I was following up with them on YouTube, watching B. Simone's YouTube videos. I seen the YouTube video with B. Simone. I live in Atlanta, Georgia now. Y'all saw the little countdown. Y'all saw my old house. And I am literally a slave working for zero dollars an hour. Ah! And she was like in her apartment and, and it was years prior to where she was at that point. And I was like, yo, if she could go there and make stuff happen, I can too. Period. And that's what really inspired me to keep going and save my money and move to Atlanta. V, I, I, I love V so much. Like, she's just a freaking, like, superstar. She's so nice. She's so down to earth and genuine. She's genuine. And I love that about her. I will say less than a month of me moving to Atlanta, I actually got to work with Pretty V. And I did a music video called Booty Squeeze. Uh, I wasn't squeezing my booty, y'all. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't even think that I was doing that. But I was in the ground like. So yeah, y'all, and then I actually went to the Booty Squeeze premiere and me and V, we did a video of us dancing. So that was lit. And at that point, y'all, my confidence was boosted. It was just inspiring because I'm like, wow, I'm really with a person that I looked up to. And like, I don't think she, she knew how much she inspired inspires me. That was lit for me to go through that. After that, kept going. I wasn't getting depressed or anything. 
Yo, bro, what? You're okay, bro. I'm gonna tell him, but you don't have to come in here and just interrupt me, bro. You was going through something, bro. All right, bro. Get the like. Well, you need to hurry up and tell them. Lying, perping, acting like everything is okay. Dang. All right, y'all. Before we was really interrupted, yeah, y'all. I did go through a depression. Um, I did go through a depression stage. I was not posting. I quit YouTube. Well, I didn't quit YouTube. I just really took a break off of YouTube. I remember at one point I went a whole month without posting. Um, I wasn't doing no TikToks. I was staying in the house. I wasn't meeting nobody. I wasn't going out. I was just. I was really at a point where I'm like stuck and I didn't know which way to turn. I didn't know what to post. I didn't know what y'all wanted to see. I didn't know what y'all wanted me to do. I, I just felt like I wasn't doing enough. You know, I prayed about it and I felt like I got back into a stage where, you know, I could come back and pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up where I left off at. I started going to more events, meeting new people, which is like Tage Liddy, John Tavian, uh, Todd, <laughs> Kizzy, uh, KJ, who else? Valley Crib, everybody, Dev. Like, these are people like I, you feel me? I'm inspired by. And I don't think they know how much they inspire me, but I, I am inspired by them. I wanna let all y'all know to keep going. We're gonna be at the top soon, um, no matter what. Along this journey, y'all, I have lost a lot of friendships. And that's okay, because like V said. It's okay if those people go. Because when God gonna elevate you, they don't need to come. I feel like God is gonna put people in my life and keep them there if they need to be there. YouTube does get stressful, having to continue to post and give y'all what y'all want and stuff like that. But behind the scenes, like y'all don't really be knowing what goes on in YouTubers' lives behind the scenes. Like everything on camera may look a certain way, but behind cameras is not, it's completely, you know, different. Um, so I started getting out there more. I started uh, hitting people up, collabing with people. And yeah, when I moved to Atlanta, I had about 13K on YouTube, 12K on YouTube, and I had like 8K on Instagram. Crying the whole day of me moving to Atlanta, um, I was just thinking like, yo, what if I I don't get this? What if, what if I, I can't gain followers? What if I... Just what if I fail? It, it it became a, it became a, like okay, this is it. You know, you you got one chance. But, you know, my city supported me. My mom supports me. So I knew, you know, I I could do it. Three days later, y'all, I got what I prayed for. I went viral. I got on the Kelly Clarkson show. All right. Well, we actually have Cortez calling in right now. What's up, Cortez? What's up, Kelly? <laughs> I love you. I love your moves. Um, I started gaining more followers. I think I went from 8K to like 20K. And um, then I just started doing TikToks. Now, TikTok, I could not do TikTok for, like, I couldn't get into the gist of, like, being a TikToker and just doing stuff. Probably, like, 30 followers on there. I ended up going viral on there, and it got me to about 2,000 followers. And then I'm like, y'all, I can really do this TikTok stuff. And I did two videos and those two videos got me up to 47k and i'm at 47,000 followers on tiktok right now as we speak and i'm on 33k i'm at 33k on youtube right now and i'm at 34 point first stuff that i did i actually did a music video with brs cash and mulatto that was a fun experience i've never experienced nothing like that in my life besides like the stuff with v because that was like the same thing just being around people that you know you see on tv is 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 lit <laughs> it's lit honestly johnny blazes the video i played an old man in that um that was really fun like i said it was cool nothing but cool vibes there like a couple weeks ago i just did a show called um bmf black mafia family it's 50 cents new show i like when i get bang when i get opportunities like this y'all i don't take them for granted it's it's experience because y'all know anybody that knows me out there knows my number one dream is to be an actor and one day i am gonna get a lead role the fuck is that Shit! that's just what it is y'all because i feel like i am talented enough to get it and why not why not you feel me 
But y'all know another dream of mine is to be on. This is Nick Cannon presents Wild and Out on Broadway. Wildin', 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 yeah. Yeah. Y'all, could y'all picture me on Wild and Out though? Like, for real, for real. Like, picture it. Picture it. You know when they be saying everybody's names and stuff? Okay, look. This is Nick Cannon presents Wildin' Out and Land. Story, Nick Cannon. DC Young Fly. B. Simone. Nina E. Cortez. I. B. J. Thompson. Lil J. J. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, okay. DC Young Fly, B. Simone, Nina E, Cortez, Bobby J. Thompson, Lil JJ. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about this? DC Young Fly, B. Simone, Nina E, Cortez, Bobby J. Thompson, Cortez. Uh, yeah, y'all. Um, Atlanta has been lit for me, y'all. I've accomplished a lot, and sometimes I do feel like I'm not doing enough, but then. You know, y'all do remind me like I am doing my thing out here. And like I said, I lost a lot of friendships along the way. And it's okay because, I mean, it happens. But that don't mean I have to stop. And, you know, yeah, y'all, we we only, it's only up from here. Um, So, yeah, y'all, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can be notified for whenever your boy drops another lit banger. Okay? Um, So, yeah. yeah make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bitch. I know I'm gonna